Hello there everybody, this is uh, CP666 back with you for the video that I promised about these two boom boxes. Um, this is the RCA unit, and uh, that is the Electra Home. That you've seen before, this you've seen before, but I figure I would compare them and uh, give you a whole demonstration of it. You see, it can actually charge uh, your iPod while it's off, which is interesting, because I need this to actually demonstrate this unit. But um, What isn't going to go well is when I want to flip the unit around, but whatever. So, obviously it has an iPod dock. There should be a thing in there that um, allows you to insert your little dock connector thing. Which will uh, allow you to make sure that it's centered and make sure that you don't um, mess it up or break the connector or anything like that because you don't want that. Other than that, it's a typical standard boom box. It's pretty, pretty sleek looking if I do say so myself. You have your um, D-pad with all of the play, pause, controls. You have the power button, or well, rather the on standby, because it's always on when you plug it in. Which is how it keeps its settings. You have a program enter button, a mode button, and a Dolby nose... D you know, every time I actually try to say Dolby noise reduction, that's what I end up saying. But it's not far off, because sticking your uh, nose into an operating... Uh, tape mechanism or an operating uh, CD player or anything like that will probably shorten your nose by a few inches if it doesn't rip it off entirely. So it's not that far off, but it's actually called Dolby Noise Reduction and other equalization um, profiles. You have your volume switches, your preset buttons, and a source switcher. CD player is right there, and it already has the CD queued up in it. Uh, we have an auxiliary input on the bottom. You can see there, auxiliary input and headphone output. The speakers are not all that big. I would be um, hard pressed to call those three inch drivers. Um, but they do, they look like uh, they're maybe two inches being generous, two and a half. They're probably realistically about one and a half inches. And uh, you'll notice there are ports. Are those actual functional ports? Well, they might very well be, because this thing does produce quite a bit of bass. And uh, more so than I would expect these speakers to uh, be able to output. So, let's take a look. You can see the handle is huge. Um, it takes one of these stupid power cords, which is flat on one side and round on the other, so I can't use a standard power cord with it. That is, or was sharp. I uh, trimmed it down. And uh, let's take a look at this. Come on! There was something slightly broken about that, um, this thing, but at least it's better than one that I was working on recently that uh, required uh, kicking it halfway down the street in order to get it open, but... You can see it holds, uh, I originally thought that this was uh, eight, but it's actually six because there are two per, um, little row there and there are three rows and you can well you can't see there because it doesn't tell us well it does somewhere let's see here 6d size batteries model number rcd 175 i-a portable cd pll radio i don't know what pll stands for i'm sure that somebody in the comments is going to bring it up and um, all that fancy stuff let's put this back With iPod dock, and uh, it takes 20 watts, 120 volt, 50, 60 hertz input. It is not multi voltage ranging, so there is absolutely probably zero chance of this working in a um, regular environment. To open it, you have to. Uh, oh, there's a screw missing. Isn't that wonderful? Take out these two screws, and there are screws underneath these rubber feet that they helpfully label for you. There are also screws above there. And you have to do that in order to take this front assembly out. I don't know if I'll demonstrate the iPod because my iPod is not charged up nearly enough to be useful here. And if I could plug the damn thing in, that would also be very helpful. Uh, so let, let's, let's take a look at it. Power it on, come straight up to the radio. Go up to uh, 
volume level of 32. Let's turn that down because I don't want to uh, be blown out of my pants by a uh, radio. None of the presets seem to work. Wound up at number 21. Except for this and one. Many would slightly. place them higher. Anyway, we're going to hear from them on the list. As the song. I hear slight 650 hertz of buzz in there. Which is odd considering our power is 60 hertz. Anyway. Let's try and find an actual channel that works. So that's what it sounds like. You hear that it does have provide quite a, quite a bit of bass. weather forecast from Chin Radio. Bayo Bano Pesh hai aaj shaam ki weather report Ottawa Sun ki sojanye se local samachar sports entertainment rozana aapke ghar deliver ho sakti hai. Adik jankari aur home delivery ke liye phone uthaye ga aur number milaye ga 613-739-7200. Ji haan pyare suno lo 21 degree Celsius hai temperature aapke shehar mein overnight low kuch 13 ke kareeb aur Okay, I don't understand that. <laughs> anyway, so that's enough of the radio. Uh, we'll come back to the iPod feature. Let's take a look at the CD. I'm going to play one whole song here, or try to. I remember when that show was actually on TV. I used to watch it every night. Probably about maybe when I was five or six around that age. Even at a low volume, you can hear the bassy thumps, which is interesting. Okay, let's just try and skip a few tracks here. As soon as it gets to track 5, it stops reading. Maybe because there's a glitch in the actual tape itself, because there is a scratch on it, as you can see, caused by that CD player. And I'll come back to that one. I don't happen to have a test tape for that, for that one, though. And it does have an audio input, which unfortunately is line level, so I can't really do much with it. Um, I seem to have locked up my player. Ah, that's funny, okay. Let's unplug it and plug it back in because it stopped working. You can hear that it's uh, playing on the iPad. And it is actually coming out of both channels now. It'll work this time. Anyway, there you have that. So, um, that's pretty much it for this unit. There's nothing else really that is there to demonstrate. So uh, let's take a look at the next one. So uh, here is the Electro Home unit. You can see um, here's the handle, which is much smaller. Then of course, this is an older unit. This one's from, uh, I want to say 2001. It's really dusty, and uh, parts of it are broken, as you can clearly tell. This unit was abused since, has been abused since it was new. See the antenna's broken off. That happened many years ago. 
There's a red something or another that happened there. I don't know what I hit it off of, but I hit it off of something. At one point, there were, um, what were they called? There were, uh, batteries in here, but there aren't any more. This one also takes six, but you can see it takes three per row. So there are only two rows. And what's interesting is they don't give you a little string thing. They actually give you that, which helps you remove the batteries, which I thought was really cool. And this comes off much easier, of course, with uh, one hand. It's not as easy as it is to take that one off. But uh, there are vents at the back. I don't know what that one's for, but that one's for the transformer. Because the tr power transformer is right there. Uh, you see the serial number, a blanking plate, what looks or what looks like a blanking plate for something. Um, and on the bottom, we have more information about the unit. There's a class one laser product. It complies with part 15 of the FCC rules. Electro home model number EH8212, AM, FM, radio, cassette recorder, and CD player. This one is also um, a 120 volt, 60 hertz only. Imported by Juton International, made in China, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure there were rubber feet here at one point, but those are gone. Do not open, it says. Well, eventually I'm going to have to because there are a few problems here. Number one, it's dirty as heck. But I'll get into those in a second. You can see this is the, basically what functions as the power switch and the function switch. We have the radio, a tape, and a CD section. We have a microphone. There is no audio input on this one. Microphone, headphone. This is the band switcher. It does not do AM stereo, HD radio. You can see the analog tuning dial. Remember when those were commonplace? You have the tape um, section and, oops. I don't think you should be able to do that, but I just did. Um, so maybe that might be uh, the next thing that I look at. It can record the tape, but I believe it is a DC bias unit, but I don't know for sure, because I've never really tested it. That is from when I took a screwdriver to it, and it also bent in this uh, grill in the process. These will have to be straightened out when I open the unit up. And you can see that it is on. It's an always on unit, but it's off when the tape is no, tape mechanism is not running. CD mode, I'm not gonna demonstrate because you can see it's slightly broken. I shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, it's in the volume. So keep an eye in the sky. Watch out for this wicked weather that we're currently going through in parts of the city. A train collision in Switzerland has now sent 44 people to hospital for a past... A very positive What's attitude that? in terms of uh, you know, taking over I don't know what that was, that but... Is, um... you know, moving from one country from one <laughs> culture to another. And I turn that off. I think that's a pretty good demonstration as to what this can do. So uh, let's take a look at them both running at once. Oh, it's already an FM stereo. One thing I noticed is that when it uh, picks up FM stereo, it automatically goes to stereo. Uh, somebody's gonna win a thousand bucks, a pro photo shoot. And uh, that'll be really cool for you. Uh, grand prize winner announced the Bears breakfast, but Cord, Kaz, and Jay. And that is coming up. And they're going to do that uh, August 1st, by the way. Just uh, read that right here. August 1st. So the deadline for voting is July 31st. The announcement made August 1st. As we head into a long weekend here at the Bear. That's it for me. I'm out of here. I'm Gonzo. Scott Lear's coming up. He's got the Bears most wanted. Now that summer's here, let's think back to what you did last summer. Uh, uh. Ottawa's Bear Babe for July. Beach 
Bomb Edition. Go to thebear.fm and vote. The photo with the most votes wins $1,000 cash plus professional photo shoot and makeup. Break out that bikini. Just no thongs. Oh, yes. There was one thing that I forgot, and that was the tape mechanism. And uh, let's hit play. See what happens. Oh, would you look at that? It hasn't moved at all. So let's put this uh, blue stripe right on top of the um, tape stabilizer. Oops, it's not right on top of it. Now it's right on top of it, as you can see. It's right about there. Let's see if it moves any. I don't think it's moving. It is slightly moving, actually. That's interesting. Um, let's see what fast forward does. Yeah, it still hasn't really moved at all. Rewind. Nope, nothing. So what's going on here? So let's take a look here. Let's put play on. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's moving. It also looks like it's gear driven, so this might be harder to fix than I thought. Is the cab stand pinch roller moving? Nope, doesn't look like it is. In rewind, it's the same situation. Neither of the uh, take-up reels are moving. So it looks like uh, it's new belts, or maybe this unit just won't work again. So let's try and put it into tape record mode. Do this one-handed, if I can. I don't think I can. I don't think my hands are long enough. Use the camera here. Come on. There we go. So you can see there is the uh, record head, that blue thing right there. Um, I believe that's a DC bias head, but I am not positive, so I have no idea. So if anybody can tell me if that's DC or AC bias, I would be uh, happy to uh, hear from you. So there you have a quick demonstration and comparison of these two stereos. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.